All right, ladies and gentlemen, motherboard is installed. I connected everything, every little connector that you could possibly connect. Well, that's included with the case. <laughs> it's looking nice. Uh, I put my uh, my name up there on top of the graphics card. It's 3D printed. When I get my GTX 960, it's going to be a little bit closer to, not a little bit, it's going to be a lot closer to the window. So it'll stand out a little bit more. But yeah, it's looking nice. Yeah, I'll show you guys my uh, my cable management. Just let me uh, remove these screws. And making videos with this phone is a lot easier than that freaking uh, camcorder. Because so I can just upload directly from the phone. They can take it up to the computer or nothing. It's, it's ease of access. It's nice. Yeah, I took the, um, what's it called off? The screen protector for the window. Uh, let's just set this down. All right, let's get some light up in here. So we got a 20 plus four pin connector in the main board right there. Got the eight pin connector for the uh, CPU. The CPU goes there. I'm gonna put this, uh, when I first get it, I'm gonna install the included uh, cooler, the stock cooler. Then I'll install the aftermarket cooler after I do some benchmarks. So I'm gonna test the uh, temperature difference I get from stock versus aftermarket. I have eight gigs of uh, RAM installed right now. That's the RAM that came on my old computer. There's my graphics card, the GT530. And so would you guys exactly know what I'm talking about instead of this. There's your graphics card right there. NVIDIA GT530 two gig card. So, set this back. Oh yeah, here's like a better look at this. I made this while I was away at um military school. I used some hot glue to glue the pieces together because it printed out in two separate pieces. Yeah, it doesn't look too good, but the front does. That looks pretty nice. You see a little bit, a little bit of red there. I uh, took a <laughs> took a sharpie and started coloring it in, thinking it's gonna look cool, and it just looked horrible. So I ended up taking some white out and coloring over it. So now, if you look at it from this angle, you see red, but straight ahead, it's just all white. Yeah, that's that's not bad. So if you mess up, you can always fix things. But yeah, there's the um, HD audio connector plugged in there. I routed that behind the motherboard. And through the little hole we have our usb 3.0 the those two cords right there ah oh, maybe that's how i should have the cord going yeah, i'm still messing with the cable management just getting everything to look nice there is the uh that is the fan hub right there i wrote i didn't write that little i didn't route that through the ground but i put that behind the motherboard too there's my blu-ray player right there yeah, those cords don't look too bad either. So I want to plug it in and see what happens. Cause I don't, I don't think it'll turn on since there's no processor in there. But I think all the fans and stuff should still pin, spin. The GPU should power up because the motherboard's receiving power. It's just that there's no processor. I wonder if it'll output video. I'm curious. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys on that. Hopefully, I don't break anything. Oh God, I will cry. I will literally just tears down my face if I broke something. So I'll let you know what happens. If it does boot, not boot. If it does post or anything like that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll be back. Later, guys. All right, so I said the video was over, but I forgot to show you guys the cable management I did in the back. So I'm gonna just turn this bad boy around real quick. All right, and looking at the plain, boring side of the case. Here's the back, there's the light you see reflecting. But yeah, let's take these two screws off the back. These are the captive screws, so they just stay in there after I unscrew them. I'm also on a party on a PlayStation right now. So if you hear a few voices, that's what you may hear. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So all these cables. Oh my goodness. This only took like 15, 20 minutes to get it to look like to get it to look like this. Go. Get up. Talking to my little brother. But yeah, there's the uh, fan hub right there. I have four fans plugged up. 
You can see, uh, do this lighting. Three connectors in the bottom right there, and one fan on the top. So those are all the system fans. Running off that fan hub, which plugs into the motherboard on the other side. What is this called? The back plate. Here is the uh, cutout in the motherboard. That is the stock mount for the stock cooler. After I run a few benchmarks, I'll remove that and install the aftermarket cooler, which is over there, Banner Max. So actually, this cabling is not too bad. I mean, yeah, I could make it look better, but nobody's going to be looking back here, so there's no point. <laughs> You didn't hear that. Um, I gotta spit that out. It's nasty. So yeah, there's the cable management, and we'll just wait till next week to pick up that processor. But again, I'm gonna run that test and see if it turns on. So I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll test that out real quick. All right, so I finished installing everything inside the case. It's looking real nice. But there's no processor in there. Remember that. So I'm gonna try to. I plugged everything up. I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. So I got the keyboard plugged up. And I got it plugged up up here just to make sure I got the front panels, front USB hooked up right. So if these lights come on, then I know I did it right. I just want to see what comes up on the screen when I turn it on. So here we go. And we did it again. The freaking switch. All right, now here we go. Yeah. Any activity? Uh, no. So it does not provide any video output. I have the graphics. Wait, 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 wait. No, I would. It would have turned on automatically if it detected. Um. Monitor going to sleep. Let me switch to, let me see, uh, DPI. Yeah, no, nada. So I guess you need the processor installed in order to get video from the graphics card. Unless my graphics card is dead. That's always a possibility, but <laughs> I, I don't think it is. Let me see, are the fans spinning on it? Oh, no. The fans aren't even spinning on the card. Wow. All right. So I guess the motherboard is just supplying power to the to the LED lights and the fans. Yeah, I guess that's it. Because the GPU didn't even power up. That's probably because there's no uh, no processor in there. Boo. I wanted to see the uh, thing post. There's the bio. You see a little green thing right there? I was changing colors. That's the sticker. Well, it's, it's not really changing colors. It's just the sticker. So, yeah. I'm loving this window, man. It's so freaking clear. And I installed that uh, cooler in there, that blue LED. It's just going to shine. It's going to shine like a mofo. All of this is just going to be blue. Like all of that. <laughs> yeah, everything went together smoothly. It was nice. I'm loving these blue LEDs up top. So, yeah, blue LEDs here. And blue LEDs on the... Um, on the cooler over there, you can't see it's too dark. On the cooler, they have blue LEDs on the graphics card, GTX 960. Shabayam! Black, white, blue! It's all good in the hood. <sighs> I gotta find out when I'm gonna paint this desk. I got a controller painted, but uh, not the desk. Also knocked the controller over today, so it has a few scratches on it. But I'm the only one using it, I don't think anybody else really care. I care, but you guys can't see the scratches. I wish I had GTA 5, so I can play with these retards, but I don't. Alrighty, guys, that's that's about it. Nothing else to see here. Oh, I can show you some fan spinning. You want to see that? If you think that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Oh, will you open up for me? Aha. Uh -huh. It just closed right back up. What the f... Why'd you close on me? Why is it just like automatically closing? I guess because it's not the uh, motherboard or something. I don't know. <sighs> Disappointed about my processor. <laughs> but when it gets here, you already know it's good, ladies and gentlemen. Going straight back to Rust. Seeing you guys up with a fresh video. 
probably go check out some other games too, but it's mainly going to be Rust. I know, I know. Yeah, that's what you all have been waiting for. I might play Call of Duty. I don't know. GTA 5. Ah, I don't know how it's going to run on that card. <sighs> if I had a 9.6, you don't have to worry about if anything ran smooth. But, uh... Yo, guys, this stuff right here from Micro Center. Yo, your monitors will, like, can you even see this? You, you see my reflection, right? That's freaking clean. Clean, like really clean. See the gloss finish? You can even see scratches in my monitor. Like, like that's how clean it is. I just wiped that down with the uh, spray too. It's nice and clean. But yes, if you use this on your monitors, they will freaking reflect everything and shine. Even though they have a glossy panel, that's like a TN panel right there. So you can see the, the light and reflection and just a blur. This dissipates the light. It's like, like a, I don't know what type of scratchy screen. Like I, I, I can't really touch this screen the way I can touch this one, because the way like it's smoothed out and this is kind of, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm like lost. My phone's not focusing. I can't focus. Come on, come on, focus, focus. Uh, I guess it's telling me to stop recording now. It doesn't want to focus. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm smart. Ha <laughs> ha. Fixed. Don't forget to be awesome, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll speak to you guys later.